Hi, this is Ranger Jonah with the Cab County and might look different to you today, don't I? Yeah, I don't have my typical park ranger hat on and I'm not in DeKalb County right now. I'm actually up near the Great Smoky Mountains National Park and I'm just having a little uh, vacation with my family and I thought I'd bring you along as I walk through the forest. Today, what I wanted to share with you is uh, well, one of the favorite trees that I have and one that I've been using as trail snacks recently. <laughs> um, so I'm standing right below one and I'll show you a picture of this so you can kind of see one of the ways you can begin to identify the sourwood tree. This tree right over here, let's see if I can point it out. This one right here is a sourwood tree. And do you see how it has a slight lean to its trunk? Well, this is one of the ways you can start to identify sourwood trees when you see them in the forest. Many trees, like the white oak that you see right in front of me, the, the tall one right there, grow straight up and their goal is to grow as fast and as tall as possible to get as much sunlight. The sourwood, however, bends towards the light. So when you're walking through a mature forest, that's mostly hardwoods, you're gonna see only some of them that have a clear bend to their trunk as if they're reaching for wherever the sunlight is. And that's the first way you can start to learn how to identify the sourwood tree. The other way is by the pretty pronounced furrows in its bark. Now that's one that there's a lot of other trees that are lookalikes, but once you get good at identifying the sourwood tree, this bark is unmistakable. Now I'm gonna to go to another sourwood tree around the corner from where I am because I get to show you the flowers, which is another great way to identify it. And mm, this one's a little tall, so I can't reach the leaves, but this other one's a little closer to the ground and I might be able to snack on a sourwood leaf. Now I'm almost to this other sourwood tree. And when we look up at the leaves, I think I can bring them down to show you. Do you see how they are, they're, they're uh, an oval leaf and they are very long, fairly skinny for uh, this shape of leaf. They also have just a little bit of serration on the edge. Don't know if you'll be able to see that with this camera, but they do. They have just a little bit of teeth around the edge. So that's another way to identify it. But the easiest way to identify a sourwood either when it's blooming or almost any other time of the year, is that it actually holds its flowers on its tree even after they die and dry up. So let me see if I can show you that. Here we are. Can you see those flowers? Bell-shaped flowers, a whole bunch of them all together, coming out the very tip of the branches. You might even be able to see some insects pollinating them. One thing sourwood trees are, of course, famous for is sourwood honey. And of course, the bees that uh, use the nectar from the sourwood trees, as well as pollinating their flowers, uh, do make a wonderful honey that, that many Southerners know uh, from roadside stands and things like that. If you get a chance to get a uh, jar of sourwood honey sometime, don't pass it up. Now, I told you in the wintertime, you can also identify this tree by its flowers. And uh, I think if I look around, almost always underneath a sourwood tree, I can find last year's flowers, even though this one's currently in bloom. And yeah, right here. Do you see that? A dried up set of flowers. There, maybe it's in uh, focus now. And this tree will keep its flowers sticking out of the end of its branches. So even in the winter time, you can look for dried up old flowers that have gone to seed sticking out of the tip of each branches even when this tree doesn't have any leaves on it. Or if you think probably it's a sourwood, scour the floor of the forest around it and if you find one of these, plus you know the leaf shape, plus the bark, plus the curving trunk, probably a sourwood. And now the final part of our sourwood journey, my favorite, eating some. Now, whenever you see something in the forest that you think might be edible, uh, always double, triple check yourself. Don't just trust somebody who you've seen on a video like me. But this sourwood tastes just like 
a Granny Smith apple. It's one of the reasons why it's called sour wood, and uh, the sap of the sour wood tree was used medicinally by both Native Americans and early, set, uh, early uh, European settlers uh, in the Americas. So uh, there's a sour wood leaf, and it tastes great. Um, sour like, um, like a Granny Smith apple. Well, I hope next time you're out in the forest, you try to find a sour wood tree yourself. Get good at identifying them, and it might be one of those trees that um, gives you a smile every time you see it when you're walking through the forest. This is Ranger Jonah with DeKalb County, signing off.